So for the past couple of weeks now, some of my subscribers have been telling me to check out this false teacher by the name of Bobby Connor. I've never heard the name before. Well, I got around to checking him out, and honestly, I hate that I did. To me, one of the scariest things a sinner can do is to lie about the character of God, to say that God does or did something that he cannot do, to attack the Lord's holiness by lying on his name and saying he did something that he did not do is absolutely terrifying. But it also reveals the sheer mercy of God that the fool who lied on the Lord is still breathing. Now, I want to go ahead and play a clip of him doing exactly that, and then I'm going to talk about it after. I went to a seminary. <clears throat> now, I, this I is, love this. this now, is, uh, these this, are my favorite. Just bring I went it. to a seminary, <laughs> and uh, the Lord said, uh, Bobby, I want you to only say what I say. My wife was there, and uh, we go to this seminary, and it was a Church of God seminary. You know, they were kind of not really into the supernatural stuff. And I said, God, I'll say anything you want me to say. That's what I said to the Lord, and I meant it. And now I know the, the Bible said, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. But no. And so the Lord said, okay, when you get up there, I want you to open your Bible and say to them, your problem is you're too full of S-H-I-T. Oh, my goodness. Only I had to say it. Oh. Whew. I said, God, I, I'm, I'm not going to do it. He said, yes, you are. I said, no, I'm not going to do it. He said, yes, you are. And I go into a trance. I see every person in the room. And uh, every person, I could tell you, describe their clothing. Wow. And there's supposed to be a lady over there in a white suit. And then I said to the Lord, I said, Lord, when I get there to the platform, if everything's like it is I see in this vision, I will save what you said. And so I get there, and there's no white, there's no woman in a white suit over there. So I said, I'm not going to have to do it. And I hear a shuffling. You see, ushers ushering her into her seat. And she took her seat, and the Lord said, okay, do what I told you. I said, oh, Lord, I get up there, and I said to him, I said, I am so sorry. I won't be able to uh, to speak here because your problem is you're too full of, and I had to say it. Oh, my goodness. And then the Lord said, you're going to have to repeat yourself. They don't think they hurt you. I had to say it twice. And there's all there's preachers out there, and the guy that invited me sitting right there. So I'm going to go ahead and address two distinct points here. Number one, Bobby admits that he knows what the Bible says regarding foul language. He quotes Ephesians 4.29. Therefore, he indirectly admits that he believes God contradicts himself and is a liar. Point number two, Bobby says that the Lord told him to sin by cursing to his congregation. And then check this out. Instead of saying the curse word, the very word that the Lord supposedly told him to say, he spells it out instead of actually saying it. So think about what this demon is saying. He's saying he was compelled not to sin while the Lord pressed upon him the opposite, encouraging him to sin, therefore making him appear more righteous and holy than God. Now, my honest opinion is that someone who can do this is someone who possesses a demon, literally. This man isn't even taking scripture out of context. He's flat out rewriting it. The same way the Holy Spirit encourages and leads the Christian in righteousness, demons do the same to, the, to an extreme level on the opposite end of the spectrum. This is not just unbiblical. It's satanic and it's attack on God's holiness, character, and nature. Now, I honestly believe that when men like this get to hell, they won't be shocked. They knew exactly what they were doing the whole time.